Hello there and welcome to another video of Des Illustrates. Today we are gonna look at a little art haul. I went to the local art store and got me some colors of gouache that I wanted to add because I do have a mixing set with two reds, two yellows, two blues, a white and a black but no browns and I do use browns a lot so I wanted to add two browns to the collection and I also was missing these colors for my Van Gogh collection after these I am missing one that by the time I did this voiceover I do have that last one and that means that I now have the full collection of Van Gogh where I am very happy with so without any further ado let's go and unwrap these new paints And now we have unwrapped all of them. Some of these I was really happy with getting because I was looking forward to trying them out. Like the cobalt blue and um, that peachy color that I don't know the exact name of right now. And also those two dark colors on the left. I was really curious about those. And another thing I got was these nibs. I had one and um, I dropped it. So I thought that the point was damaged. So when I saw these in the art store, a whole bag of them for the only 4 euros, I got those two and now I can just pick up a new one and hopefully not drop it again. I do like these for lines in smooth sketchbooks and stuff, but however they don't work on the artist paper. I tried because I wanted some nice outlines on some of the paintings that I was doing and also on the butterflies. But yeah, don't work on arches. The next thing is this gouache that I talked about earlier already. Here are the swatches that I did of it. They are like a really common burnt umber and sepia. Not really exciting to see, but um, I do use those colors a lot in my paintings, so I thought it would be a really nice addition. 
Here you can see my big color chart and as you may have guessed already this video is older than the previous video. In this video I didn't start my swatch book yet and um, I also didn't have the interference colors yet. So these are the last of the normal colors that I needed. And I'm laying it out on the map of on the color chart I made earlier for the colors I already had to show that they are the missing colors that I still needed and as you can see I miss a uh, number five, 560 and um, that one they didn't have in the art store but I do have it now it probably will appear in some of the next vlogs because I'm using it currently in a painting so you'll see it there here we started with the swatch of the first color titanium buff I do like this color I didn't think I would really need it or like it because usually I pick up some yellow ochre and thin it down with a lot of water and use that as an off-white color but um, I do like this and I do find myself using it, so uh, it's a handy color to have. But mostly, I think, a convenience color. The next color that we are swatching is Azo Yellow Light. This color looks a bit similar to the transparent yellow medium, but I find it to be a bit more vibrant i think of all the yellows i have that's not a really cool yellow like the permanent lemon yellow of the van gogh or the lemon yellow i swatched from the sennelier i think the azo yellow light is the brightest yellow that's more on the warmer side it's a really nice color and i do find its purpose because it's like I said it's really bright and you can always tone it down and the others already feel toned down then we have the next one that is Naples yellow red and I was really excited about this color because in the pen it looked like peach it's a bit less peachy in the swatch but more than you see on the video here right now in the video it almost looks a bit muddy but it isn't in real life it's hard to pick up the um, real color of this one somehow it uh, becomes a really weird one i haven't really find a purpose yet for this one although i find it really pretty i think it's really usable in lighter skin tones in mixing them but other than that i like i said i don't really have used it yet but um, maybe I will try and find something in nature that I can paint with it because I just want to use it. It's such a pretty color. This next one is a vermilion, also a red tone, and it's a let bit less bright than you can see in this swatch. Somehow my camera has problems with showing red tones like they are and um, this one is less bright than you see on the camera but it's um it's on the verge of going to orange so it's a really warm red and uh, i think if you did just a smidge of yellow in it it would already turn orange that's how how the color feels the next one is mother lake light i find this color to be really similar to mother lake deep it feels a bit more vibrant than that one but it's not much and i think it's also in the pigments the mother lake deep it has PR264 and this one has 
has also that pigment, but a bit or there is added an extra pigment, PR254. So it's a multi pigment. And I think that's the only reason it's, it's a bit more vibrant. A bit more other than that it's almost the same. So if you have one or the other then I would go for the Mother Lake Deep and you can mix it with a more vibrant red to get the Mother Lake Light. It's not really needed. But like I said in the earlier video, I just missed a few of the colors, so I really wanted to com have the complete collection. And the color that we are swatching right now is a really beautiful pink. It's the color Rose. This color, even though I already had two other pink colors from Van Gogh, it is a really different color than the permanent red violet and the Cunicredon rose. It feels more vibrant and also cooler than the other ones. It also is less light fast than the other two. But yeah, I think most of the vibrant pink ones are less light fast also in other brands. This next color is Cobalt Blue. I was a bit sad that they only had um, multi-pigmented Cobalt Blue because the pigments they used is their Ultramarine Deep with White. So it's a mix of those two. And it's not a true Cobalt, but I don't think we can really expect that for the price they offer Van Gogh pens for. So on that side um, it was to be expected. So next to this I probably will be hunting for a true cobalt because I feel that it's a really particular color and this one doesn't really feel like a cobalt it's much more of a yeah a ultramarine with a bit of white in it so it's um, again a bit of a convenience color I do think it's a pretty color however it's it almost feels a bit more vibrant than the ultramarine. But yeah, still. Uh, and also, they say it's transparent. But with the white in it, and also how it laid down, it does feel a bit more opaque than the ultramarine. This next color is a really pretty brown. that I got is it's the Van Dyke brown it's the last brown that I needed and um, I already used it a couple of times it's a bit of a um, muted brown it's really neutral almost if you totally thin it out and you have much water in it it almost feels a bit grayish so it's uh, really convenient in some of my animal paintings and I almost like it better than my sepia that I already liked a lot and used a lot so I will be using this also a lot I already can tell that the last color that we are swatching is ivory black I already had the oxide black that's the one next to it but that one granulates a lot that's also the color as you can see by the pigment coats that they use for their specialty dust color and um, it gives some really nice granulation and if you mix it with some color it gives really interesting textures but uh, it's always handy to have a real black and I didn't have one yet surprisingly I mostly used paints gray or the um, new gray I got from Roman Small that I still can't pronounce but now I have a true black I don't plan on using it much because I like to have some more depth in my blacks but sometimes you need something really dark and then this black can be really handy here we have some close-up of the colors that we added to this chart and with that and the interference colors that we already saw earlier 
this is the complete set of Van Gogh that I have. Uh, maybe I will show it in a vlog or maybe I will dedicate another video about the complete set. I'm not sure yet what I will do. I do want to show the complete set. All the colors that they have. So um, be on the lookout for that video. For now, I want to thank you very much for watching. I also want to thank my Patreons for supporting me over there. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!